If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? Stephen here. Welcome back to a brand new week of Team of the Week predictions. And we have some big boys to talk about, three of which are on the screen. Ronaldo has done it again. Is it too soon? We'll talk about that. Benzema, I mean, Benzema is up there with Ronaldo in terms of the rating, uh, not necessarily the quality, but still. Jensen is our first player. Peter Jensen with eight saves, a clean sheet. He also saved a penalty and his team won three goals to nil. Quite a few silvers to talk about, as well as a potential hero that won't happen, but I thought I'd mention it anyway, and we'll get to that. Uh, up, up second, I should say, is Dursen. Another hat-trick, 4-1 win. Not every single silver uh, will potentially feature as a silver stars. They may end up just in the team as is, but uh, definitely worth a mention. As is Mauk, is that how you say his name? Mork, Mauk. Two goals in a 2-1 win uh, from centre-mid is pretty impressive. EA have been including a fair few Australian League players as well as Dutch League players the last... Well, this FIFA in general, really. They've not been as bad as they normally have been. Hemmings with a hat-trick in a 3-0 win. He scored all three goals, which means he has to be in form, whether it's uh, Silver Stars or just in the team. Now, this next one, it's not going to happen, but it's worth a mention. We're talking about Ellison of Newport. He used to play for Morecambe. He was frozen out of the team by the manager. He was told to train by himself and that he would never play again. He's 42 years of age. He scored for Newport in a 3-1 win over Morecambe, ran to, the, to his old manager and called him nasty names but still it was funny Ian Acho with a hat trick in a 5-0 win over Sheffield United if this isn't the silver stars I will be very surprised I think it would be far more beneficial for them to give him a silver card than it would be to give him like a 78 rated gold card and Meslier another Premier League player worth mentioning he has made eight saves, also kept a clean sheet, this time against Chelsea. So quite a few goalkeepers already knocking about, and we've not even out of the silvers yet. Well, saying that, now we are. We're into the Bundesliga with Trammell. Uh, I think he's old, isn't he? Trammell, quite old. Still doing uh, big things, though. One goal in a 2-1 win. Left wing back. I think he's normally a right back, but he did play left wing back from what I can tell from the from the stats. Uh, let's move on to Aitor. An 85-rated goalkeeper choice. I don't even think this is the last goalkeeper uh, option either. There's so many goalkeepers that have made God knows how many saves. I told, by the way, kept a clean sheet, made two saves, 1-0 win, but it was a fairly decent win for Levante. He did play well. Uh, Reichter up next with one goal and one assist in a 3-1 win for Augsburg over uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. So big result there. And uh, not to necessarily a big card to go with it, but still a big result. Warrants an inform. Wellington of Besiktas with one goal in a 3-2 win. Not an awful lot to say about it. We need defenders. It's almost like a token gesture. They have uh, neglected the Turkish league and in particular Besiktas over the last few weeks though. Uh, speaking of which, Onyakuru is actually at Galatasaray from Monaco. Is it a loan or a permanent transfer? Let me know in the comments. He's got two goals in a 3-0 win for them. Uh, looks like a decent card for an 81. Man managerial masterpiece card for sure. Svanberg of Bologna with uh, one goal, one assist. They won three goals to one from centre mid as well. Bit pacey, not too bad on the ball. Again, another one of those managerial masterpiece cards. He actually looks like a very good card for a managerial masterpiece team. Let's move on to Vlahovic. Probably said that wrong. Three goals in a 4-1 win for Fiorentina as a striker. That isn't even going to cut it as a manager or masterpiece player. I mean, he is far too slow for anyone in any position. Let's move on and not talk about that again. Baku, Wolfsburg, ran out 5-0 winners over Schalke, who looks set to be relegated. Anything but that would be an absolute shock. One goal, one assist for the left-back. And very pacey card with decent dribbling. Could easily be a silver, but I've put him as a low-rated gold. Depreville of Bordeaux with one goal, one assist in a 3-1 win. So far, we're like halfway through and we've not really hit any card that I'm unsure that anyone would really care about until now because we've got a mid-range card here with Julian Brandt. I'm trying to put the accent on Brandt. Don't know why. One goal, 2-0 win. Uh, Dortmund 
I've been up and down this season. Uh, Julian Brandt has been one of the constants. He's doing quite well. He's got a road to the final card as well, but still worthy of a mention. Coop Miners hasn't done anything by Dutch league standards to warrant the inform. I've just got a feeling. One goal in a 4-1 win for AZ Alkmaar. He has informs already. An 84 rated inform is actually quite good. The 86 would be really good and he would link into an awful lot of other decent cards. Pasalic of Atalanta with two goals and a 3-1 win. Uh, he did play Cam. For the most part, but centre mid cam doesn't really make a blind bit of difference because with 67 pace, no one's going to go near him. Uh, not that I'm saying that'll make him a bad card, I just know no one will buy him. Moving on to a player that everyone should buy. If this happens, you need to buy it and you need to buy it immediately. Cancelo with one assist and a 3 0 win. I mean, I'm looking at Gabriel Jesus, Aguero, those type of players. I don't know if one goal is going to be enough for those. If EA feel like it, then sure, but Cancelo put in a good performance, so why not indeed? Moving on to Thomas Muller, he has a player moments card that is much faster than this. However, with two assists and a 3-1 win, it was a good performance. He deserves the inform. Will EA give it to him even though he has a better card that's lower rated, if that makes sense? I'm not sure how that's going to work, but still. Let's move on to newly transferred Martin Odegaard. I don't know how the ones to watch works. I'm guessing it's defunct. Uh, that's why we've got a standard in form here. He's got one goal in the North London derby, two goals to one Arsenal run out winners, banging goal from Eric Lamella, but they lost and he got sent off. Moving on to Luis Alberto with one goal, played a 9.0 as well, which is extremely high and they won three goals to two. Lazio run out winners. Not the best looking card in the world. It's kind of why I think they should maybe leave this out, give it to someone else and give him a foot birthday card, for example. Let's move on to one of the thumbnail players, and that is going to be the headliner, Karim Benzema, with two goals and a 2-1 win for Real Madrid. I wouldn't say it's impossible for EA to deny him this card because it's very likely that they will ignore it, but a 95 rated card in March, not even at team of the season yet, there's not an awful lot of headroom for Benzema to go up, which is just crazy, and he's just never talked about. Ronaldo is the guy at the forefront, of course, it's always either Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo. This week's it's Ronaldo's turn again with a hat-trick and a 3-1 win. I'm going to put my neck on the line here, I don't think this is going to happen. I do not think EA will give him another inform so soon. It's not that it, it, it's within the, the period. I think it's been three weeks or it will be three weeks since his last inform. So it is in time. I just don't think they're going to do it. I don't know why the whole Lewandowski Goretzka thing has got me thrown and I just can't see it happening. But he did score a hat trick. Caputo is up for a, an upgrade on Wednesday. Uh, his team won three goals to two. They won three. Well, they drew three all against Napoli, I think, the week before or midweek or whatever. But either way, that's the six goals he needs. So if any of you have completed Caputo, you're going to have an absolute banging card on Wednesday. This guy looks unreal, uh, as does Yuri. Yuri looks really good. His normal card is actually quite good as well. But of course, Atletico Bilbao kept a clean sheet this weekend. Therefore, Yuri will get the upgrade. He'll go from an 88 to a 90. So uh, if you have him already, happy days. If you don't, maybe go buy him if he suits your team. And Pereira, Leicester, of course, keeping a clean sheet in a 5-0 win. And they will, or rather, he will get the upgrade on Wednesday as well. And I'm not sure if any of the other what-if cards are going to be upgraded yet. I uh, haven't really looked into too many of them. But there's three, for example. Do you own any of them? Are you going to go pick one of them um, One of them up rather now that you know that they're going to be upgraded? Let me know in the comments. Manchester United are currently playing against West Ham. It's 1-0, but it was an own goal, so nothing really doing there. Sevilla currently 1-0 up as I'm recording this. Nothing worth mentioning so far. Fairly big game in Italy between Milan and Napoli, and it is boring. And uh, moving on to PSG, who are 1-0 up against Nantes. But again, at the moment, it just doesn't look like anything. So unless we can get some sort of big goal from a midfielder or a hat-trick or something in the dying moments of those games, I just don't see there being informs. But there is your Team of the Week predictions. If you have enjoyed it, do me a favour and hit the like button, because it really does help me a lot. Subscribe to the channel for new, of course. And until the next time, goodbye.